Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I am Aisha Vid and I am going to present two important topics about ancient Rome. First is Pax Romana and the other is Era Pacis Augustae. Pax Romana is a Latin word which means Roman peace. As the name shows, it was the golden period of Roman history. It is approximately 200 year long time span which started from the accession of Caesar Augustus, founder of Roman Principate in 27 BC and concluding in 180 AD. Caesar Augustus was the first Roman Emperor reigning from 27 BC until his death in 14 AD. This is the Augustus sculpture. It was made in 20 BCE. In the statue, Characteristics of Augustus may have carried a sword pointing down in his left hand. On the breastplate of Augustus sculpture, there are a number of Roman gods participating in the return of Roman standards. Breastplate indicates he is a warrior. Standing barefoot indicates he is not scared of ground. This is the zoomed feature of his breastplate. Back of the statue is not carved, meant to be placed on a wall. His portraits portrayed him as a god-like leader who miraculously never aged. In the portrait of Augustus, artists depict him in a many different roles in Roman statue, but the models of them classically Greek statues. In this statue, he is standing like Polyclitus Doriferus. This little cupid sitting on the back of dolphin reference to the Augustus divine descent from Venus. The next topic is Era Pacis Augustae. The Era Pacis Augustae, meaning the altar of Augustan peace, is an altar dedicated to Pax, the Roman goddess of peace. It is built to celebrate the Augustus return from Spain and Gaul after three years abroad to restore peace. It is the modest altar with impressive reliefs and decoration instead of the monumental size. It is a traditional open-air altar surrounded by present walls. It is decorated with reliefs of various figures and implies the peace that Roman time and tell of the Roman ways. This is the picture of Era Pacis Augustae. It is located in the north part of Rome, near the river Tibet, between Via Flamania on east and Campus Meritus on the west. The structure is made up of marble and consists of two parts, a central altar and the septum. A central altar located on a podium and the septum surrounded the altar with large rectangular slabs of 11.6 by 10.6 meter. The altar is 3 meter high, sits on the podium of 6 by 7 meter. There are two main entrances in the septum leading into the altar. One is the Via Flamania entrance on the east and the other is the Campus Meritus entrance on the west, which has nine marble steps leading in because of the elevation level difference on the side of altar original position. The altar is carved with images illustrating the legs area meant the law governing the ritual performed at the altar and is highly functional which less emphasize on art and decoration with straight forwarding images and symbolism. The interior and exterior septum walls are divided into two horizontal decoration zones. Interior walls are all decorated in the same manner. The lower zone is decorated with vertical strips, probably imitation of wooden slabs. The upper zone is decorated with the fruit and flower garlands that are sculpted as hanging from Bucrania oak skulls. Next is the septum. The outer walls of septum consist of different friezes on each side of upper zones of the wall, all four panels depicting mythological and allegorical composition in the east and the west entrance and north and south walls. The reliefs on exterior walls depict Roman life in the Augustus era. The lower zone, however, is decorated in the same manner all around the wall. It includes the depictions and reliefs of more than 50 different plant species along with some animal forms that go all around the septum. 
the lower decoration zone of the exterior wall of the septum with vegetal and floral friezes implies the fertility prosperity and abundance of roman peace that came with the return of augustus from his campaign the upper decorative zone of the exterior septum wall consists of processional and mythological relief friezes of different formats and portraitures on the east portal depiction of roman pax and tellus on the west portal depiction of ains and his sons romulus and remus on the north wall depiction of senate on the south wall depictions of augustus and his family and these are the walls of all four side of septum thank you